Hello, my name is Eileen Lades. And my name is Guadalupe Ballesteros. And for this project, we wanted to integrate what we have learned in this course and implement our knowledge as viewers of a popular Netflix series, Luke Cage. In a podcast format, we wanted to attempt to encourage viewers to watch this series while being aware of the variety of aspects of Black culture, politics, and music within the series that reflect components of the African American community in real life. Hey everyone, this is Guadalupe Ballesteros and Eileen Lades talking to you about the Netflix series Luke Cage, released September of 2016. Luke Cage is one of the first black superheroes, although not the first because that was a Black Panther, but he is the first to get his name written on a comic. Luke Cage, the comic book, was first released in 1972. The series attempts to recreate African American exploitation in the 1970s and incorporates an accurate representation of the black community, their culture, politics, and music. Within the first scene, we are able to see the incorporation of black culture, where it begins in Pop's Barber Shop. Pop, the character, is an important figure for the community because he is trying to better the black community by bringing in black youth to mentor them to be better citizens for the future generations of Harlem. Luke Cage shines light on many aspects within the African American community, more specifically within the city of Harlem, some of those being gentrification, private pr prisons, failed and corrupt political systems, and black criminality. An article from Pop Culture Uncovered quotes, This series attempts to pierce the veil that exists between the America that believes it knows about the souls of black folks and the functional reality of black lives in America. Although not staged during the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s, there is a clear reflection of the history of Harlem City within the series. Here's a short clip to illustrate the impact of Luke Cage among a local citizen of Harlem. Uh, uh, uh. Now let's get it all in perspective for all y'all enjoyment, a song y'all can step with. Wow, hungry on. You know, we got a, a superhero coming from Harlem. You get the feeling, you see the buildings. You might see somebody you know walking in the street if you are from Harlem. But you wouldn't see Captain America or Iron Man or Thor in the projects, in Hell's Kitchen, places of that nature where you would find a Daredevil or a Jessica Jones or Luke Cage. What does Harlem represent to you? Because you're from Harlem. You became a Harlem legend. What is Harlem? Maybe. The generation in Harlem that I grew up in were the first generations, and, and these were the strongest people from the South. That's what made Harlem. They got their own beauty salons, they got their own clubs, they got everything. Everything was right there for us, you know? They have these huge, wide sidewalks. They have these, you know, culturally, historically relevant places like Apollo Theater. If I had a friend that was coming to Harlem and never experienced Harlem, I would take them to a Hallelujah Church. So they can see us when the whole how we pray and how we worship. I would take them to uh, Sylvia's or the Red Rooster to eat, and then I would take them probably to the Apollo to show them how significant the music experience is to us. So I used a little bit of money to have my man Dab do you right. In Harlem, you become popular through what you can do, and dressing is one of the main things. You know, the hustlers do the same thing. They want to be a part of a structure, and so they know they got to dress a certain way. Rappers too, you know? You know, if they get off key, they be like, they'll let them have it. Buy some new clothes. Please, We're first class all the way. It's all these things wrapped up into one. Black culture, politics, and crime. Luke, to have his foundation in a place with that much culture is just, it, it, it makes it even more authentic. And there it is, Luke Cage broken down for y'all to start binge watching the series and see black culture beyond the pages of a comic book. See y'all next time. This has been a series breakdown by Guadalupe Ballesteros and Eileen Lares. Throughout the course of putting this project together, we have learned that many times culture is reflected through media outlets such as the Netflix series Luke Cage. We are clearly able to see the importance of black culture, politics, and music in a way that is easily accessible and enjoyable to the general population. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.